until he does it. Gentleman from. Can we move that over to the side until? I had it all set up for. Well, it'll take us some time. What do you need to move for? You're not seeing Steve. You know, blocking. That's okay. It's all right. You'll stand up. You get extra camera time next week. Robert, until we get everything. Thanks. <laughs> until we get everything signed, just a little update. Uh, obviously, this is not Halloween uh, with the costumes, but we are. <laughs> yeah, April Fools. There you go. Oh, thank you. We are kicking off our 150th birthday uh, starting this weekend. And we started tonight with the first council meeting of our 150th birthday to Susquecentennial of Sheboygan. Some things going on this weekend, and it will start at noon Friday on the uh, front steps of City Hall. At 11.50, Wilson Lincoln Erdman School chorus will be outside. I will welcome guests. There will be a bell ringing for, I believe, three minutes, Pat? Like three minutes. Then we will have special guests, Senator Leipam, Senator Panzer, Representative Costell, Representative Terry Van Akron, Secretary Kevin Shabilsky, Senator Russ Feingold, or his designee, and Congressman Tom Petrie will be with us. At 12.15, we'll unveil and, and present the re recreation of the charter, which we have. Uh, Alderman Wangaman will be helping on that. Uh, we will have a presentation by Sheboygan Coats and Tails. We will have a song sung, Sheboygan is My Heart, performed by Mary Decker. And then again, the Wilson Lincoln Erdman School Chorus will finish up. Then Saturday at 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., we start at the Armory, and that goes from 10 until 2 or 2.30. And there will be brats, hamburgers, uh, nachos, coffee, and soda products down there for, that you can purchase. But we'll start with the uh, Hmong traditional dance, Forrester School of Dance, uh, the shoe plodlers. There will be a game, Who Wants to Be a Sheboygan Air? And there will be audi audience participation, correct, Michael? Correct. Okay. Sheboygan Pops Band will play, and then there will be other activities going on. So that will go from 10 until 2. Everyone's welcome to be at the Armory Saturday, and I would hope Everyone uh, of the aldermen who can either be here Friday or Saturday would, uh, would participate. Mike? If I may, just add one more thing. There will also be a, about three dozen exhibitors down in the armory, which uh, all of them which will have special displays show, showing Sheboygan's history over the last 150 years. So it will really be a, a great educational uh, uh, event also. Thank you. Okay. Correct. And they are on the inside, so if anyone would like a uh, pamphlet telling you who's going to be down there, we have more of them. So with that, Pat tells me we're set to roll. Notice of the 25th regular meeting of the Common Council. Pat, would you call the roll, please? Yeah. How's that? Bowman? Here. D. Bird? Here. E. Bird? Here. Doyle? Here. Manny? Here. Moody? Here. Perez? Here. Ports? Here. Schultz? Here. Stephan? Here. D. Van Akron? Here. T. Van Akron? Here. Vanderweel? Here. Wangerman? Here. Warner? Here. Winninger? Here. 16 present. Quorum's present. Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that we approve the minutes of the previous meeting as entered on the record. Moved and seconded, we approved the minutes of the previous council meeting under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Pledge of Allegiance. Alderman Ports, would you lead us, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. We have two hearings this evening. The first is the proposed use of federal community block grant funds. And the second hearing is amend the zoning classification of property located in the South Pier District. 
Any interested parties wishing to be heard on any of the two? Any interested parties? Please speak, step up to the microphone. I work at Vandal and Associates in Madison, and I'm here representing the Great Lakes Company. Can you hear me? No. Oh, I'll, he said get close. I'm here today to ask for rezoning of um, our project, which is located in the South Pier District. Um, currently, you can see it on the map there. It's the orange parcel and the purple parcel. Those two are separated by a right-of-way that will be owned by the city, which will not be used for a road, but rather a pedestrian connection down to the lake. But currently, the, the two parcels are zoned pre-plan unit development, um, which is basically, there aren't really aren't any land uses associated with that. For us to continue our project and go on with the precise implementation plan, we request that we um, rezone the parcel to South Pier District PUD 2003-1. And that'll allow us to continue our design work and come before you again with um, you know, pictures of buildings and actual what our project is. Um, pretty much it. If there's any questions, I'll be happy to take them and clarify any points. Council, do you have any questions? Alderman Schultz, you want to make a motion to hearing be closed? Thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion to hearing be closed. Moved and seconded hearing is be closed under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, Michael, I'll wait for you to move it out of the way. Public forum pass? Uh, no one. Okay, Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Your Honor. You know, I look up there and I've been here a long time, but I don't think it's been. You don't want to go there. <laughs> you don't even want to go there. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I move that all ROs be accepted and filed, all committee reports be accepted and adopted, all resolutions and substitute resolutions general ordinances and substitute general ordinances be put upon their passage. Moved and seconded, all ROs be accepted and filed, RCs be accepted and adopted, resolutions, ordinances, substitute resolutions and substitute ordinances be put upon their passage under discussion. Alderman Berg. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to uh, pull uh, 2529 RC by Public Protection and Safety, re recommending filing documents uh, ready to the study of a public safety department for, se for separate consideration. Okay. It's been moved and seconded that we pull 2529 for a separate vote. Do you want a roll call on that or do you uh, have a discussion? No, I, I can speak to the sure. uh, issue. Sure, discussion. Uh, this is uh, a document that really looks at changing or evaluating the model of how we offer public safety services. Uh, a couple of things along that line, we're soon likely to have a building that can accommodate the police department. If you travel to Manitowoc, you will see they have a public safety building that includes both police and fire. Alderman Schultz has a document currently in uh, strategic fiscal planning that looks at, re requests that we look at how our organizational charts are structured and looking at individual positions. I think that rather than looking at it linearly, this really is a occasion to look systemically at how our police and fire services are delivered. If you were to look at our organization charts, you will see that there are some similarities between how uh, those particular departments are staffed. And I think if, uh, if, if it is likely that we build on the county site, uh, I think we should take into account the possibility of at least including the management staff under one roof. Uh, and uh, otherwise, we're going to have a management staff on 24th Street looking out a window at a management staff on 25th Street. And I think that we could perhaps uh, uh, easily look towards any economies of scale by changing our departmental models via a study. So for that purpose, what I'd like to do is uh, uh, refer this to strategic fiscal planning. Uh, of the new council. Of the new council. There has been a motion to refer this to strategic fiscal plan of the new council under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, Alderman Berg. Alderman Doyle. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, 2530, I just like to complain about that and pull it for a separate vote. Okay. 
Um, the most of the programs under the block grant I think are outstanding, outstanding, especially the housing rehab one, which I think is doing a wonderful job. But I think the uh, drift of the use of funds in, in the last couple of years is getting away from the low and moderate income uh, intent that the federal government had for that program. Uh, there's more, and, and again, human beings are pretty clever and we can rationalize almost anything we want to. Uh, but I think baseball lights uh, at, at uh, the field down there is getting pretty far away from helping low and moderate income uh, people. And I notice there's a tendency to use more and more of the money to fund parks, uh, which is basically what we're trying to do is move it away from the public works uh, budget with a shortage of funds and so on. And, but I think that kind of thing is appropriate. I think we need to fund those things out of the regular budget including the bus transportation and other topics. You'd like a separate vote on that? Please. If there's no, if there's no other discussion, Alderman Perez. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. If, if you would just uh, please ex explain what a yes vote knows and no means, sure. no vote means. A yes would be passing the substitute resolution as it is here, which is decreasing the transit by 5,000 and adding the Literacy Council at 5,000, the rest of the plan stays as it was originally brought in. Okay. Okay, would you, if there's no other discussion on that, would you call the roll, please? D. Berg. Aye. E. Berg. Aye. Doyle. Aye. Manny. Aye. Moody. Aye. Perez. Aye. Ports. Aye. Schultz. Aye. Stephan. Aye. D. Van Akron. Aye. T. Van Akron. Aye. Van, Vanderweel. Wangaman? No. Warner? Aye. Wenninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. 14 ayes, 2 noes. Motion carried. Okay, Alderman Schultz. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I apologize, but on 2518, I was going to call uh, Ed Surik today, and I neglected to do that. I was going to ask for an explanation as to what we're changing and why we're changing it. Uh, I thought that document had received a tremendous amount of discussion at the time that it was approved originally and here we are a few months later amending that uh, you know I guess why are we doing it and are we going to find a reason to amend it again in the future uh, if it seems if it isn't uh, fitting some persons or people's uh, ideas as, as to what it a hiring free should be uh, so I, I guess uh, again apologizing for trying to put, for putting anybody on the spot uh, if somebody could give us an explanation as to what we're changing and why we're changing it. Uh, Ed? Um, thank you very much. It's uh, what we did in the last Saturday and Grievance uh, Committee meeting was trying to clarify uh, what we meant by filling or not filling positions. And basically what we're saying is that uh, a position will be reviewed if we have the whole, we don't have the whole document here, but Basically, what we're saying is that when a position becomes available, it would be viewed by the mayor, by myself, through salary and grievance, and then brought to council. And uh, that's basically the change, because uh, I think we had two or three different versions of the, of the document, or in, uh, uh, impressions of what, what the document actually meant. So this is simply a clarification that it will require uh, positions to go through the, the whole system. Did you want to separate? Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. What was the original wording? I don't have of the approved mm -hmm. document. Jim, Jim. Yeah. Go ahead. I remember last time when we had three positions in DPW to fill. There was a uh, confusion as to how it would get to the mayor to decide, and then we decided that he'd have to come through with an RO giving his permission. Uh, Salaries and grievances had to come in with an RC with their favorable and then the two were voted on as a favorable. So this way, I believe it would be, mean that the mayor would give his favorable to the committee and it would all come from the committee at one time rather than mishmash. Maybe that's why it took an hour to discuss that when we uh, created it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. This was more clarified by the attorney in order to bring it up the way it should have been. Okay. Alderman T. Van Akron. Thank you, Don. 
so we're really not changing the process is what you're telling me and if the mayor if, if an open position goes to the mayor not just the and Ed right through the department head I think it, Tom would meet with Ed two of them would go to you you would say yes or no even the no's go back okay that's all I need to know Alderman Warner. I think uh, just to clarify that the way it read before, we had the words kind of flopped around on there and it was it was coming the department head and Ed were reviewing it. And then it was coming to salary and grievance, and then salary and grievance was sending a report of the committee to the mayor. Right. And then there what was the mayor gonna do with it? We had to come back to salary and grievance. There was we just had the word switch around. So actually we just straightened it out is what we did. So it is the same thing. Okay, if there's no other discussion, you want to separate call, roll on it? Separate, uh, oh, okay. If there is no other discussion, oh, excuse me, Alderman Manning. Thank you. Uh, one quick question on 2517, uh, directing the public hearing request for that, for rezoning the property at 406 Pennsylvania. It, would that be to be rezoned as commercial, and would that require knocking down that house at that property? Steve? Steve. I believe the application's been made by um, the applicant to rezone the property. It's presently zoned urban residential. Um, there's a little blue residence on the house right now. They want to rezone the property to central commercial. That will come to the plan commission for us to review. All they're doing at this point in time would be looking at the land use designation, changing it from residential to commercial. The idea is to do that because they have some type of idea that they would like to develop the property commercially. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Okay, if there's no other discussion, Pat, would you call the roll from 25-1 through 25-34? Eber? Aye. Doyle? Manny, Aye. Moody, Aye. Perez, Quartz, Schultz, Aye. Stephan, D. Van Akron, T. Van Akron, Vanderweel, Wangaman, Warner, Weniger, Bauman, D. Berg, 16 eyes. Motion carried. 2535 to be referred, 2536 through. That's a long one. Yeah. Through 53 to be referred, and 25, 48, 49, 50, and 51, that will go to risk management of this committee, not the new committee. Go to this one. So. 25, 54, by Alderman Bauman, Berg, Berg, Doyle, Manny, Moody, Perez, Ford, Schultz, Stephan, Van Akron, Key Van Akron, Vanderweel. Wangaman Warner Winninger supporting local and Wisconsin military personnel. Alderman Bauman. Oh, excuse me. Alderman Van Eckert. Or whoever wants to go. <laughs> Alderman Bauman. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd move that the resolution as stated be put upon its passage. Second. Moved and second that the resolution be put upon its passage under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 25, 55, and 56 will lie over. 57 and 58 to be referred, along with 59 through 61, and that will go to the new council. 25, 62 will be referred to the new council, to public works of the new council. 25, 53 through 65 to be referred. 2430 in RO by the City Plan Commission recommending rezoning property in the South Pier District. Alderman Horner. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion to accept and file the report of officer and, pa and to pass the attached ordinance. Moved and second to accept and file the RO and pass the ordinance. Under discussion. Under discussion, Your Honor, this is relative to rezoning the described property of the South Pier District from pre planned unit development to class South Pier planned unit development 2000. That in 3-1. The present pre-planned zoning does not meet the mixed use needs for the future of this site. Planned unit development zoning is more suited to mixed land use. It is also consistent with the city's 2000 comprehensive plan. The staff and the plan commission recommend approval. Thank you. Thank you. 
Is there any other discussion? If not, would you call the roll, please? Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Quartz? Aye. Schultz? Aye. Stephen? Aye. D. Van Akron? T. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. D. Berg? Aye. E. Berg? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carried. I should have did this before, and excuse me, but we have one of our new aldermen out here tonight. I only see one, Alderman Montemere. Congratulations, and thank you for coming to the meeting this evening. I'm glad to be here. Okay. She will be taking Alderman Van Akron's position. So, 2447, by Alderman T. Van Akron, Schulz, Perez, and Doyle, transferring funds in the 2003 budget, Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Moved and second, the resolution be put upon its passage under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Ports? Aye. Schultz? Aye. Stephan? Aye. D. Van Akron? Aye. T. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangelman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Wenninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. D. Berg? Aye. E. Berg? Aye. Doyle? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carried. 2459, General Lawrence by Alderman Warner, Doyle, Winninger, Vanderweel, and Manny, amending the no standing, stopping, or parking areas to add David Avenue from a point west of the west curb line of South 22nd Street to the east curb line of South 24th Street. Alderman Warner. Thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion that General Ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Moved and second ordinance be put upon its passage under discussion. Under discussion, Your Honor, this is an ordinance relating to the standing, stopping, or parking area so as to add David Avenue as described to the no parking, stopping, or standing regulations. There have been increased safety concerns raised in the area due to traffic and young children at James Madison School. In keeping with our effort to increase the safety of the areas around our schools, the Public Protection Safety Committee recommends this change to the parking regulations. This will be effective on school days only from 7 a.m. To, to 4 p.m. and is consistent with changes made elsewhere. And I would expect Alderman Schultz to vote against this, as he usually does. And I'm looking forward to hear that one. Thank you, Elvis. Alderman Schultz, did you want to speak? <laughs> Disappoint Alderman Warner. <laughs> you <didn't> think so? <laughs> If there's other discussion, would you call the roll, please? Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Ports? Aye. Schultz? No. Stephan? Aye. D. Van Akron? Aye. T. Van Akron? No. Vanderbilt? Aye. Wangelman? Aye. Warner? No. You said no? <laughs> Neither wants to point, disappoint each other, I guess, did I? Wenninger? I mean, I was confused. <laughs> Bauman? Aye. D. Berg? Aye. E. Berg? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. 13 ayes, 3 noes. Motion carrying. <coughs> Steve? 2566 is a resolution authorizing the purchasing agent to participate in the DOT road <coughs> salt purchase program. Uh, where'd you find 2566? I have 67, but where's that one? Oh, going? you were supposed to have it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Goes public works. That goes public works. <laughs> Thank you. 2567 is a resolution authorizing the continuation of health insurance for employees that have been called up for active military service in the Iraq War. Salad grievance. 2568 is an RO by the city clerk submitting an application from Lutheran Social Services for a change in zoning classification of property located at 706 North 9th Street from UR 12 Urban Residential 12 to class UC Urban Commercial. Plan Commission. 2569 is a resolution directing a public hearing to be held in connection with change of the city's official zoning map for property located at 706 North 9th Street. Alderman Van Akron. Your Honor, I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Moved and second resolution be put upon its passage under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 2570 is an ordinance amending the city's official zoning map of the zoning ordinance to change the use district classification of property located at 706 North 9th Street from class UR 12 urban residential 12 to class UC urban commercial classification. Plan Commission. 
Move it and second to adjourn. Uh, Go ahead. Just uh, one thing. All the persons, uh, the revised draft of the development agreement is in your inboxes. Uh, you got the clean version. I made copies also of the uh, redlined or marked up version that compares your prior version to this current version, but I didn't make enough copies for everybody. Uh, if those of you that would like copies tonight, uh, you can come up after the meeting and I'll, I'll give them to you. And if, any, if there's not enough, I'll make more tomorrow and make sure that they get to you. Alderman Van Eck. Connor, just to remind everybody that we will have a committee of the whole next Monday at 6.30 here to discuss uh, this document and any recommendations coming from finance from that same evening. Okay. We have a motion. Okay, we have a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Opposed?